Hi everybody and welcome to the flute practice. I've got an opportunity today to try out some of these different cuts of the head joints. Uh, you get like the P cut and the N cut and you get the wings and the rises. I do not honestly understand everything that, you know, all of that, what that means. Um, but I'm going to introduce you to some of them today so that you can start to hear the differences in sound. It's quite incredible. So let's go check it out. I'm going to try this on uh, a Haynes and a Powell flute. Uh, these are the companies that are doing these different head cuts particularly. So I'm going to start off by just trying out uh, some of these instruments with different head joints. So this is to start off with, it's P-cut. It's P-cut head joint, um, you know, quite traditional, quite classic, usually kind of the head joints that we tend to see. So it just as a kind of base point, let's listen to what it sounds like. Okay, now I'm going to switch out the head joints. Let's have a listen. There's also a pea cut. Uh, this guy's got little wings. You can see them over there, those little wings. Um, apparently it's supposed to help like focus the tone a little bit more. Um, let's have a listen and see what it does. I definitely feel like it's a bit more focused. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but I feel like there's definitely a bit more focus. So I guess if focus is something that you struggle with um, or you want a bit more, perhaps a winged head joint is an option. Okay, so I've got a 14 karat gold flute body here and now I'm going to be putting a 19.5K on, onto it. Uh, looks to me like a P cut as well. So, we're going to now listen to the change in sound. Remember, most of your sound does come from your head joint, so the head joint is actually fairly important. So that's why this is really interesting to look at what options are out there. So let's have a listen. So it's really interesting for me, it definitely gets like a bit of a fuller, bigger sound, uh, a bit darker and deeper and richer. So also very much a worthwhile consideration to go for a flute uh, with a higher carat gold head joint, an option. Okay, so the next flutes I'm going to be looking at with their different head joints are the Haynes flutes. Um, so we're starting off with a P cut again classic p-cut. Uh, this flute is a 14 karat as well, like the Powell. So similar kind of specs. Uh, let's give it a go. swap it out. So now we've swapped out, we've got an end cut head joint. I'm actually going to show this to you guys because this is super interesting, uh, well, at least for me it is. Basically you can see here it kind of drops straight down there whereas the P cut they're a little bit more gradual so that's the, what the end cut is, it's kind of that straight down drop over there. So let's get this back on and give it a listen. what 
makes these guys uh, distinguishable is that they respond a bit better. Whereas the peacock, the colors are a little bit nicer, but um, the, these kind of give you a bit more response, especially apparently in articulation, which... Very quick, immediate response. I can tell you that much. It's a kind of a pleasure to play for articulation. So that's what's great about this head cut. Let's go check out the other one. The last head joint I'm going to be trying is a Haynes head joint, uh, also the end cut. So we have this very steep gradient down there. And this time we have got what they call a platinum riser. Now, risers, I literally just had this explained to me because I had no idea, um, is basically, so the inside, there's like a kind of a donut shaped ring in the inside where they solder the lip plate onto the flute. And that little ring uh, is kind of the first point of contact where they can change the material, which will drastically alter the sound. So that little riser can be made of different materials. Um, so you could have, for example, a silver head joint with a gold riser, or in this case, you've got a gold head joint with a platinum riser. So this is kind of an interesting thing. So let's give it a listen and see how this guy differs from the previous. So for me, there's definitely a difference in the sound. It's a bit, uh, once again, a bit of that fuller, darker, richer sound. A little less kind of breathy and airy. Might just be my lips. But I like this. I like this a lot. Probably the nicest that I've tried out of all of these head joints. Probably my favorite. Probably also the most expensive one. Yeah, but it is. But if you are looking at buying different head joints and cool head joints, uh, these are really interesting things to think about. Those were some interesting little tips about different head joints. Who knew? Who knew there was so much choice? Um, but it's good to inform yourself, to know what's out there, to know what's available, and then to try it, to try it all out. You can get a trial from the Flute Center. They will send you different head joints for you to try out. If you use my code down below, you'll get a free 10-day trial instead of just the normal seven-day trial. Uh, shipment is also free. And you will, if you buy your instrument, get an 18 month warranty, which is awesome, instead of just your year warranty. Also, uh, I do earn commission on this, so you'll be supporting me and the flute practice, which, you know, is awesome and great as well. All right, everybody, until next time, happy practicing. See you soon.